Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to introduce you to another tool uh, which is called Mod Mob Jam. Uh, this tool is available on Linux, uh, but it's not available on Dragon OS Focal. So you have to compile it yourself. Uh, make sure when you're Googling it, uh, search for Mod Mob Jam uh, that is hosted by Penthurts. Uh, the easiest way, so right now, uh, it's not available. The version that I'm using of Dragon OS Focal, it is not available right now. So you just need to compile the code. Uh, so just simply go ahead and uh, copy this and go to your uh, go to your terminal and just simply git clone it. That's all you need to do. You don't need to compile it or anything like that. I'm going to do it anyhow uh, because I have this already installed. The, I'm just walking you through the step. Uh, that's it. So mine has already existed. I didn't save it in my user source folder or anything like that. I'm just going to ls it and I'm going to go into sudo mod mob jam. Now the cool thing about this is uh, there's also a supporting GRC flow graph for this and there's also a pi file as well. So you can use this and you can also use this uh, jamming tool with mod mob pap, uh, map mod mob map and that allows you to actually connect your rooted mobile phone and that will actually generate a file json file that you can use it to jam um, your uh, your gsm signals and stuff like that using your mobile phone if your phone is rooted my phone is not rooted yet uh, so i'm just going to show you the simple jamming application that is available uh, so mod map jam you have to download it separately but mod map map it's already compiled in Dragon OS Focal. So that's the idea. So just to give you an idea uh, in what network. So for example, as you can see, my laptop is also connected. I'm going to use another cool tool, which is known as, uh, this is also comes pre-compiled in Dragon OS Focal. That is called LIN SSID. What it does is actually scan for your frequencies and things like that. Uh, so using your wireless interface card. So you can just scan it. Uh, this is where you're going to get the frequency from. So I am connected to this SSID that has a MAC address that looks something like this. And it has a channel of 10. So you can go ahead and go here. Uh, uh, go here and view. And you can also look for frequencies. You can look at security, whatever you want. So mine is 2457. That's the frequency that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to jam using ModMap Jam. I'm um, just using the simple application of mod map, mod map jam jam to actually jamming uh, jam the signal that is at two four five seven megahertz. So once I know that information, uh, I'm just going to simply close this. And this is what my phone is connected to, and my laptop is also connected to. If you can clearly see, my laptop is connected to these labs. All right, that's just the first thing you need to do: go to CD mod map jam, ls it. Go to the GRC file. You can just simply run this jammer underscore gen dot pi. Uh, so what? And I'm just going to show you that uh, I have a Wi-Fi that I'm connected to, and the name of this Wi-Fi is D Labs D Block. All right, G O E P D Blocks. That's the name of the uh, Wi-Fi that I'm connected to. So I'm going to leave this over here. And this is what my laptop is also connected to as well. So I'm just going to simply go in and I'm going to CD into GRC folder. All right. Uh, when you look at this GRC folder first, uh, it has a GRC file. Just, just go to sudo so you can make changes. So I'm going to write sudo GNU radio companion. And I'm going to type in that jammer file dot GRC. Uh, using sudo. Uh, you can also make changes uh, to your flow graph that is available. So when I first ran, ran uh, this flow graph, I was having an issue because when I just first ran the script, I was getting uh, blade RF not found. So when I looked into that flow graph, to the default value when you download this or when you clone it, uh, when you get a pull request from GitHub, uh, the thing that you will get that you will have a source here I was seeing Blade RF, so I just changed it to Hack RF because my Hack RF is connected to it. And I made few changes when it comes to frequency because this was designated for uh, a GSM 1800 band. So I changed the frequency here to what my frequency was, 2457 megahertz. That's the frequency of my Wi-Fi that I'm trying to jam. 
even though there is a variable flow graph, I made a change here because this was called here, center frequency. So I made a change and I also increased that frequency from 900 megahertz all the way up to 2500 megahertz. That's the two changes, three changes, three different changes that I have made. And my default value was 2457. That's what I'm jamming. So once I have these things corrected, uh, now I'm just going to simply run this flow graph, which is there in jammer underscore gen dot grc. I'm going to run this and we're going to look at our phone. So few things, uh, let, let this flow graph run and you will see a screen that looks something like this. Wait for it. Alrighty, let's see. Simply just close this. I'm not seeing, just give me a minute. All right, here we go. There are a lot of things going on. All right, as soon as I see that, um, I'm not seeing any connection to it. See, I lost my connection on my Wi-Fi. I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna run this flow graph one more time. So you will see on my screen as well. Uh, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna wait for it to pop up that it is connected to my Wi-Fi. Uh, let's just wait for like a couple of seconds for this to come up and then I'm going to run the flow graph again it will take normally some time to actually just do it like this all right so now I'm going to run this again and I'm going to you can increase the RF uh, range you can RF gain and, uh, and BB gain and stuff like that right now there's nothing going on. There's uh, still I'm seeing my Wi-Fi on my mobile phone. We're gonna wait for that screen to pop up. I know the antenna is quite close to my phone, uh, but it is actually further away from my laptop. So we're gonna wait for that screen to pop up. Let me just close this. I don't need this because I'm running a live. Uh, so. Now I can increase gain. Uh, I can already see that this thing is gone. So end process. I can increase frequency. And you can also see this. There's no signal right now. Okay. Now, now the signal has established. I'll increase my gain a little bit. All right. And I'm going to move the position of my antenna like this and we're going to wait for it to actually disappear. And here we go. So there is no signal right now. So I have basically lost my signal. I can also go in and go to Lin SSID to actually investigate this. And I'm not seeing any mobile signal on my mobile phone either. So I can go to sudo len ssid and I won't find that. Uh, I'm just going to simply run this, run scan using my wireless card and I'm not seeing that that is gone. Uh, D block is gone, which is the SSID of my signal. So that's the idea. Uh, this is how you're actually going to do it. Uh, a simple application which is available in uh, called ModMob Jam. Uh, this is how you're going to jam it. I'm going to simply close this now. And now eventually I will get my signal back. And I already got my signal back on my laptop which I'm connected to. So I hope you like this small uh, tutorial on ModMob Jam which is another uh, jamming application which is available for your software defined radio. Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.